Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's time for more EU4. I'm your lovely host, Kelvin. So, where we last left off, uh, we found that Arianism had infected China. It's spreading far and wide, even reaching the Korean Peninsula. Luckily, that's in the US, it's just hard to tell. Uh, and Tibet has converted to Christianity. Yeah, Arianism's kind of spreading uh, rapidly. Good news, it stops running in the year 550, which also means we uh, have to stop dealing with it then as well, which is good. I mean, we're dealing with it as best as possible, but uh, it's spreading hyper quick right now. <sighs> oh, well. Numatria, Belares, good. Arianism spreads. We try. Alright. So, we're also going to start converting Campina. There's only four Roman uh, cultured provinces in the game. Oh, yeah. There we are. And we've just converted a second one. Started converting second one. 543. So, before 550, actually, we should be able to set up and establish a pope. Which is good. That is good. Uh -huh. Convert another province, excellent. I mean, the faster that they, uh, you know, convert away to Arianism, uh, ten years down the line, the faster we convert them back, so. Might, uh, might be a thing. Uh, yeah, the advantages for being Catholic are the same in this mod as they are in the base game. So it's mostly just the papacy mechanics. But they aren't bad papacy mechanics, so. Alright. I mean, we've gotten a couple commercial monopolies so far, which is kind of good. I mean, we've got a mercantilism of now 39%. Uh, so that's 78% trade power modifier. You can have a max mercantilism, I believe, of 200%, which would mean that you're... Holy shit. Apparently, uh, revolts. Surprise on me. Wasn't paying attention. I thought I suppressed them well enough. Oh, well, joke's on me, I suppose. Alright. Okay, right now. We need to get there and shut down those guys as fast as possible, though, because otherwise they're just going to convert another province. No, don't do that. That would be a bad idea. Wait, at least for your fucking morale to come back slightly and hope to god you win. Or at least delay long enough for something. I think we can get reinforcements there pretty quick. If we use the boat. It will not be fast enough though. Catch transport. Go, go, go. Unfortunately, that's going to convert. We missed our window. I didn't think they would move so quickly, but alright, whatever. Alright, Aryans suppressed. Now, on the matter of our maxed out uh, admin points, I guess we just continue... Uh, you know, maybe we should improve another region as well. North Africa. That's a surprisingly, like, large region. I'm just like, oh man, do I really want to commit to that? This is a lot smaller. It overlaps already with a region I've already improved. So it'd really only be just, you know, a couple provinces. Might be wise. Or perhaps in general, let's, uh, let's do Malta. Yeah, sure. And, uh, various islands and the like. Yeah, why not? Good 
Good. It's a good way to spend points. There we are. So, that's the third Roman province converted. We now only have one left. Alright. So the war against the Arians continues then. Okay, good news is that I didn't give uh, religious zeal for that conversion. That's the good news. So we can just convert that back instantly. Good. So, just really a minor bump in the road. We're managing to maintain uh, maximum conversion here. Alright. In addition... Verone Eka. And break vassalization. There we are. Good. I'm hoping someday we'll actually start getting, like, electors. It would be really nice. Uh, we could do things now, like, grant them an electorate or free city status. I mean, I'm gonna do it to, like, Venice, though. So, you know what? Let's start improving relations with them. Why don't we? Uh... Heresy. Hmm. Uh... Yeah. You know what? That's fine. I, I like keeping him around as he is definitely rather quite useful. Yeah, I think we're losing the battle slowly. That's okay. We're now up to 18 princes in the Empire. Not bad. We need 25, though. Minimum. Conversion successful. Good. God damn it. Arianism just keeps spreading, yo. I'm hoping that we can... Uh, you know what? Why don't we just give them, like, a gift? There you are. Alexandria. Ugh. Good. So now we can do things like grant them free city status and make them an elector. No, electors can't be free cities. Okay. That's fine. So. We have one free city in the Empire. That's good. That is good uh, to know. Um, you know what? Uh, we'll make Milan an elector. Good. This 1,038. There a particular reason for that 1,000 on the end of that? Uh, or is it... I guess probably because we granted them an elector or something for a little while. It'll give them that. I have to assume that's the reason, because a thousand seems a bit much. Just my two cents. So we now have it in a, a new elector here. Which slowly works to improve our imperial authority. It's it, the, definitely we're okay right now. Uh, oh, Persia. Persia's the same sized army we do. That's somewhat concerning in a way. It is. So what are our emperor bonuses up to now? Uh, with 17 princes and one free city in the empire, we get... Eh, it's not bad, I guess. Halib changes to Arian. Yeah... I mean, I don't think we're going to be doing too much invading, unfortunately, until at least uh, 560 once the Aryan threat passes. It just seems like it, it could go very badly with provincial unrest and everything. On the other hand, if we could drag ourselves below 
uh, 160 provinces, that would also be a potential way. I have a plan. You'll get to see my plan soon. But in the meantime, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. This has been your lovely, lovely host, Kelvin. Signing off. <laughs> wait, wait, fuck, it's ten minutes, what the hell am I doing? I for some reason thought it was the end of an episode. No, I have a timer on my screen. Hmm. No, I like gaining 25 legitimacy. Because 25 legitimacy lowers revolt risk hugely. There we go, that's the good stuff. Uh, but no. I, I have a pretty reasonable plan, actually, to uh, ensure the stability of the Empire. And everyone's gonna laugh at me and call me crazy. But it's really simple. It's gonna cost me a fuckload of Diplo points to do this. I'll be permanently locked to zero, I'm sure. But, what if I just went through... And gave away, like, uh, 41 provinces on the dot. Yeah. That would work, wouldn't it? I mean, I'm converting away all the Roman right now. If I just went through and just, uh, gave away a bunch of provinces, might work. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, 0 0.05. God damn it. Make mass civilization. It might work. Could push our, uh, sort of give most of Italy independence and the like. Hmm. The rest is not eligible to be emperor, so they get an automatic, uh, 1,000. Oh, interesting. So I am literally the only valid emperor, which is true. I'm the only, uh, Catholic monarchy. So that seems about right. Eventually, I'm sure others will eventually instate monarchies, which is the idea. So eventually, I'll have competition. For now, it's all on me, though, but as time goes on. So we're now at 100 uh, legitimacy, which is excellent. Uh, hey, bless our ruler, would you? Excellent, thank you. All right. That is a pile of fucking everything per year. Good lord. And hey, we can actually level up our admin again. Although I don't think we need to for a little while at least. It's not exactly an important technology as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, at this point, if I can get myself down to 159 cities, I'm thinking that would help a lot. would give me a significant power boost. Yeah, might, might, might be a not terrible idea. I could also make more than just city-states throughout the Empire. That, that would probably also help. It would make this go a lot quicker. Uh, but... Damn, I'll actually lose 50 admin power instead of prestige. I don't think I've ever clicked that button before. Holy shit. Also, did Carthage just convert to Arianism? Son of a bitch. 0.7% on that. Ugh. Whatever. Religious tensions is fine. I can't tell if Persia just fell apart or if we just got stronger. It's hard to say. <laughs> you know... I actually feel like I can just go for it here. I mean, I'm just gonna let Syria, uh, Assyria, and uh, what's his fate, and Palmyra take care of this for the most part, I think. Nope, we've got reinforcements on the way. But so do you. Wow. N nice pretender rebel timing there, buddy. Yeah, we're actually going to lose the first battle. Which is not a good thing. 
Doesn't set the tone for the war, after all. We apparently lost way too much of the morale fighting all those fucking pretenders. Oh well. That's fine. Doesn't rule in Ferrera. Not an issue. Let's bring our troops down, because apparently I'm going to have to take a much more heavy hand than I originally anticipated. It's alright, we can definitely handle this. Oh my god, hey, you're finally converting things. Good job, Palmyra. You'll become stable yet. Yeah, and now all he has to do is battle the Aryan Plague as well. It's tough to do. I mean, Byzantium's cracking. It's, it might just become Catholicism and Arianism at this point. Orthodoxy's almost dead. If the Gepids and, Byzant and the Byzantines crack, it's over for Orthodoxy. And the Plague still has 17 years to work. It's interesting to see what will happen. We win the schism by default of the enemy has been killed by the Aryans. Alright. And apparently I need to up some provinces. Hang on. There we are. Alright. I'm going to have to do that again soon elsewhere as well. The Persians, you can't quite underestimate them. And a decent amount of reinforcements are sort of piling through right now. A good, good time to try and catch them out of position here with our armies. There. I can send the 60 of them packing that way. Alright. You, Loristan, now. You, Baghdad, now. You, Basra, now. Alright. Start getting to work sieging stuff here. Persia's actually built forts this time, so it's not going to be quite as easy as the last couple. Alright. Good. I'm kind of gambling that I won't need, uh... Won't need, you know, troops on this landmass here. Because, hey, I'm actually pretty stable for once. It's kind of a gamble, but, uh... You know. It could work out. We hope. Alright, Brendagala. Good. Keep converting the Aryans. We just have to survive 17 more years of this blasted plague. Eh. I don't think we need to, uh. I don't think we need to do that. Alright. Oop, oh, battle. Demand old rights. Uh, yeah, sure. Could easily lose a point of stability. And then instantly regain it. Because we have way too many admin points. Okay, apparently we've got a boatload of reinforcements. So everything's okay. It's... Everything's a-okay. Go ahead up this northern fort here. Start trying to get whatever sieges we can off. While they're not looking. <laughs> Should probably send this guy down to here. Uh, the Aryan spread, yo. Just never stops. That actually is a good tech for us to get. Uh, because that unlocks uh, us the ability to send a merchant to the Gulf of Aden. Good. It's been a problem for us for a while that we haven't actually been able to access the Gulf of Aden's trade node. Luckily, we can now properly transfer trade power. Oops. Yeah, we got kicked out of our land. 
The Persians are kind of in retreat all over the place, so it's okay. Like I said, kind of in retreat. It's iffy. We're pushing wherever we can, though. Anyway. So now we're properly uh, transferring trade power through to Alexandria. Which means it all ends up around here. Unfortunately, our trade income is going to drop substantially in the time... In the uh, coming time as we do this. Alright. So, I mean... Persia, we're not actually asking for all that much. Alright, I'd actually... I have to finish that occupation. Yeah, we're not actually asking all that much from Persia, so... Hopefully we don't have to go too much farther than we already have. Alright. I'm hoping, but then again that actually requires that fort to surrender, so... We might be here a while, who knows. Oh, there we are. Now, I can't take it, I know. But Syria can... There. And now Assyria has it. It's not actually part of the HRE, but I'm sure it'll get added in eventually. <laughs> Alright. Continue converting and fighting against the Aryans whenever we can. Alright. Alright. Yeah, we're getting actually quite a uh, decent number now of cardinals starting to appear, which is probably good. It means other people can start reaping the benefits of Catholicism as well. So. Ravennica. There we are. We're slowly, uh, but surely converting away everything here. Uh, break the vassalization, and in a matter of months we'll be able to break the other vassalization as well. There we go. We're slowly, uh, you know, seeping away. Oh, did I forget to break the vassalization of those two? I did. <laughs> oh well. It'll take time, but slowly we are ceding power away in northern Italy for the purposes of development. It's going to be uh, nice to see. I mean, already, like, Venice has apparently gotten one of those, and I imagine it's going to be going up everywhere. I haven't really been paying attention, obviously, but uh, it's good to have. Hey, a despotic monarchy. That sounds like something I might actually want. This, not keen on it. Despotic monarchy? Definitely. Fortunately, our continued struggle against the Aryans is actually maxing out our missionaries now. That's concerning. And it would so appear... All right. Hi, Venice, I guess. Uh, welcome to the Empire. Enjoy your stay. I don't, know. I don't know what to say. Eh, whatever. Not my problem. All right. So I wasn't expecting Venice to pop out, but why not? Whatever. It's okay. But at least Assyria now is Baghdad, so it doesn't look stupid with Persia's hole in the middle. Keeping troops there for garrisoning purposes. Good news. Despite actually hitting four missionaries, we never actually uh, 
missed out on a conversion time. Unfortunately, our religious unities dropped to 86%, which is extremely concerning. Like, that is not a good kind of thing to have. Uh, yeah, Gothic infantry. That's not exactly a good thing, as you can tell. Frisian reactionaries. You're westernizing. You get to seven, like, well, I guess it's 21, then you get a free fucking pass. Oh, damn. Odorissia has abandoned all hope and has gone Arianism. And by the looks of it, it's not going to be long before, uh... Wow, that just keeps happening there, huh? Yeah, Jesus Christ. Okay. Pile on to those heretics. Beat up the Lollards. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put down the Lollard revolt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Problem solved. Anyway, that's probably a good note to end on. As, uh... Looks like China's containing that problem for the moment. I'm mostly concerned about, like, the Gepids, yo. Know? I feel like they're gonna ditch, uh, pretty soon. And Frisia. If that keeps up. Won't, uh, won't take much. And then, literally, Byzantium will be alone in the Chalestonian. Ah, well. Thank you, everybody, for watching. This has been, uh, your lovely, lovely host, Galvin. Signing off.